Well, here's a mod I did not expect anytime soon, and that is the Compi. That is right, the Compi is in Path of Titans as a mod, which you can download right now. And you can see how small he is. Like, th this is him as an adult, too. To where I have to zoom in the camera just to get a good view of him. I mean, but they're so adorable. I mean, how can you hate them? Unless you're playing Ark, then these things can get very annoying. To be honest, I haven't played Path of Titans in probably like a week. I've just been getting really tired of the game, to be honest. But I just happened to turn on the game today and I noticed this guy was in here. So I was like, let me do a video on him just showcasing his abilities, his movesets. And then we're going to have some fun later on and we're going to change some of his stats and see how fast we can really make him run. And as always, if you guys enjoy the video, hit that thumbs up. It definitely helps out a lot. So when it comes to his speed, he has really, really good speed. So this is him right now, full running. Stamina is barely going down. So he has very, really slow stamina drain, which is also good. I believe he has 700 max stamina, which is probably the highest dino that likes the highest stamina a dino has in general. I don't think any dino has more than 700. He has 500 health with 400 combat weight. That's right, the lowest combat weight in the game, which obviously makes sense for this this size creature. So to go over his move set, but before we do, let's go over some of his skins. Now, oh my god, look how small he is. You have to zoom in. Even then, you can't really get a good angle on him <laughs> so you can do some nice Ooh, these are actually some pretty good ones here where wait where's that one i just picked Ooh, okay for those of you that like more of the realistic looking dino sins or if you want more like this looks like a damn glow, glow in the dark copy which is pretty cool for his moveset it is very basic so for head he has a bite attack that does medium damage um, for hide, he has an ambusher hide that allows the compi to deal 25 more bite damage, but he loses 25% armor. Um, honestly, I think it's worth putting this on because I'm assuming these guys are going to die within one to two bites anyway, or even get trampled and killed. So armor, I feel like is useless whether you have that extra 25% or not. So why not increase your bite damage, especially if you're in packs? For metabolism, you either can eat meat, you can eat insects, or you can eat fish, meat, and everything else. For a tail, you have a regular tail attack that does a light damage, probably zero to no damage. And then he has two voice calls. He has the murmuration, which increases the health regeneration of compies in your group within 30 meters for 15 seconds, able to stack up to five times. So you can increase your health. If you have five compies in your group, all do it at the same time, you can get the max amount of health with this. Or you can do Chirping Hell, which is increasing the attack of all copies in your group for 20 seconds, able to stack up 10 times. So if you get 10 copies in your group and they all do this call at the same time, the amount of damage you will be able to do would be insane, especially in packs. I, can, I can't wait to see other people's videos with these guys in packs to see how much damage they can do. You have the regular bite attack, which is really, really fast back to back repeatedly. You have the tail attack. Like a little fast, <laughs> like barely easy, but like, I don't even know. That's why they give him a tail attack. And then for the voice call, you can only use one at a time. So for example, if I use one of them, you can see both of the voice calls get a cooldown. So you, you won't be able to use both voice calls at once. You have to use either one or the other because they both get at least a 45 second cooldown, but you have the ability for at least 40, 45 seconds as well. So that's pretty good. And of course, the beauty of playing these smaller creatures is they take like no fall damage whatsoever, making it easy for when you're getting chased or if you just want to do some nice fun stunts, you can jump off super high cliffs and get a lot of air and take no fall damage because he only weighs 4,000 combat weight. Uh, so yeah, he's literally could do whatever you want with him and oh man, the possibilities are endless. All right, so now we're going to have some fun. So what we're going to do is we're going to up his sprinting speed to as high as it can go and see how fast we can get him to run. If you guys don't know how to change stats, you can only change it in single player. I did make a separate video on it. I'll link it somewhere so you guys can go check on how to do it. So I increased his sprinting speed multiplier by 100,000. So we're going to activate auto run here. It takes a little bit to start up. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> look how fast we are. Ooh. Oh, I'm too fast. Oh my God. That made my eyes hurt. Oh my god, I can't control it. Like once it starts getting, once it starts going, it's like I'm, I'm just focusing on the trees and just trying to dodge the trees. I keep getting slowed down though. I wish we had like an open field, a more open field. I should have picked a different map. Okay, so now I increased it by a million times more. I don't know if it's going to make a difference because I don't know if there's a cap to this. But let's see. 
So we're gonna start the runoff here. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, back to the run. Oh my god. Yo, imagine how fast you can travel the map just running like this. <laughs> Did it say... Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this is just... I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. This is just fun. But yeah, there you guys have it. The modded copy, which is out now. Go download it. Play them. Form some packs with it. Go have some fun. And uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you think he's good? Do you think he's trash? And uh, yeah, let me know what other modded dino you hope to see in the future. Thanks for watching.